Hi and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you my beeswax batik technique. And I'm going to start off by telling you what supplies you need to use. First you need Ranger's melting pot and you need to insert a project pan and you just snap it in like so. And then you need some beeswax. You can use white or natural. It doesn't matter for this technique. A pair of metal tweezers and cool tool tweezers. Some cookie cutters. Make sure they're metal cookie cutters. And some diary inkers. I'm using Ranger's Nick Bantock inks because I love their vibrant colors. And very important, you can't use a pigment ink. You always have to use a dye ink. Then you need um, Ranger's new ink blending tool and some replacement foams. And if you don't have the new ink blending tool yet, um, you can use cut and dry foam and I cut it into a one by one inch square. And then you'll need some gloss paper is what we're going to work on for to make our background. A blotter paper and you can use blank newsprint, scrap paper and I happen to be using white cardstock. You also need a craft iron and a heated tool. Now to begin, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about safety. Um, be sure when using beeswax to always put um, the project pan into the melting pot because if the beeswax gets too hot, um, it is combustible and it can catch on fire. I start by using about a quarter cup of beeswax and I put it in the pan. And I put the temperature at about 300. The temperature may vary a little bit depending on your melting pot. If you see that bubbles are forming, that means it's too hot and that um, it's starting to boil. So you just want to turn down your heat just a little bit. Okay, and now to start. What we're going to be doing is we're going to use the cookie cutter as a stamp to stamp wax onto your background paper. And the first thing you do is you place the cookie cutter into the melting pot and you want to make sure you get the flat side of the cookie cutter in the pan and not the side that has the lip. And what you have to do, you have to keep the cookie cutter hot so that the wax will stay melted so you can stamp your image. So I'm just going to heat it with the heated tool for about 15 seconds. And then you use your tweezer to pick up the cookie cutter. You don't want to touch it because it's going to be hot. And then you stamp your wax onto the paper. And you use the cool tool tweezers to brush down your cookie cutter. And then you're just going to make random stamps and stamp off the page. And that's good. And you let your wax solidify. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start to apply your ink. So what you do is you take your ink blending tool and a foam and start with your lightest color of ink first. And then you just put a line of ink at the edge of the foam. Like so. And then you're going to wipe your ink on the background and cover the whole background. And this is where it gets a little messy, so if you want to wear some rubber gloves, go ahead. So you don't get inky fingers. Okay. And then once the whole background is covered, you take your blotter paper and you place it over top. And now we're going to melt off the wax. And you, you do that by using just a pressing motion. You don't want to swirl it around because you'll be moving the wax all over the card and you really don't want to do that.
Make sure that all the wax is melted off. And that looks good. And now we're going to stamp on some more stars. And this is where um, you're just going to layer some more images over top of this. And don't forget to heat your cookie cutter again. And stamp off the page. Let that solidify. And I'm going to use my next color, Cerulean Azure. And you're again going to wipe your ink over the entire card. And just a tip to remember when you're um, choosing inks, choose some inks that'll mix well together because as you see the um, yellow and the blue makes green. You don't want to end up with mud. And if you want to make it darker, you can just pounce on the ink and it'll give it some nice little texture to it too. Okay. And then next you're going to take your blotter paper get, once again, put it on top and melt off the rest of the wax. And there you have it. So how about giving it a try and posting it on your blog or email me a picture and I'll post it on my blog if you don't have anywhere to post it because sharing is caring. And remember, a crafty day keeps the stress away. We'll see you next time.